Hello, how to have sharp edges on your models when you have a subdivision surface modifier and without adding other loop cuts or adding bevels. I'm going to show you this right after this. Learn how to model hard surface products in Blender. So you want to learn 3D modeling. I just created a new course where I teach beginners how to get started with modeling products with subdivision surface and universal all quads topology workflow. I know that 3D modeling seems very complicated when you first start discovering it. You have to learn all the tools that Blender or another 3D software has to offer. You have to know all the hotkeys, learn how to create shapes only using polygons, and this can be overwhelming and a very long process. Maybe you already tried modeling some project and it was not a success. You are thinking of giving up and you are learning way too slowly or maybe you don't have enough resources or good methods to really learn how to model. And don't worry because I made a course for you. It is not a 10 hour course that you can't finish. It is only a three and a half hour course where we model together a complete project and it is big enough friendly. And I made a coupon code for this new course only available for a few days. So if you are seeing this, maybe it's not too late to activate the code and get this course with 50% off. This course I teach you all the most used techniques by 3D modelers to model products easily, all the odd keys, the best tools, the most simple way to make something from scratch. So join the course now by clicking the link in the description and don't forget to use the code SUBD50 at checkout. See you there. So you have your model here and you have the subdivision surface here and you want the these edges sharp without adding new geometry. So with the subdivision surface, you can just add loop cuts, control R, like I'm going to put one here and I have the snap, I'm going to disable this. Move this here, for example, um, control R, put another loop cut here. And then you see this edge now is sharper. And I want to do this with all the edges. So to make this faster, can go in edit mode tab and then do select select sharp edges and this is going to select all the sharp edges so you see now it's selecting all of these if i want more i can click on the little select sharp edges here and adjust the sharpness for example if i want i'm going to disable the subdivision for example i want this one here so i can change this, put more, put less. When I put less, you see, it's doing like this. For example, I want this one and this one. I'm going to leave at 30. I only want these. Now, and this is selected, I don't want. Now that I have all my sharp edges selected, I can do N. N to open this menu. And then you have me increase here. You can put it as one. And then, you see the edges with the mean crease, with the crease here, they are now black, darker than the regular edges. And when I put now the subdivision, you see they are sharp. So before, you see this part, for example, not smooth. And now, the subdivision it is smooth and all my sharp edges are sharp now and after when you want to have your model to export or anything and you apply this it is applying of course the crease that we put so if i do apply on the subdivision now you check the geometry and when i crease i put back at zero zero is still sharp 
like this so you can have the shape you can retain the shape of your object like this simply like this and not adding other geometry on your mesh if you want to learn how to model with a subdivision you have a coupon code for my new course you have the link in the description to join it see you in another video bye